it's Swiftkey and welcome back to Corin Cross's Dead and Breakfast. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank you guys so much for the feedback on this game. I've been getting phenomenal feedback. Uh, a lot of people are really liking it, which is I'm very excited about because I want to play more of it. So knowing that you guys are enjoying it too just gives me more incentive to play more. So thank you so much for that and for letting me know that this is something that you would like to see. Um, sometimes I'm not sure what some of the games I pick for the channel, so I really do appreciate getting feedback from you guys and hearing that yes this is a game you would like to see me play so with that let's actually get back into the game so i think last time we went to the hospital to see mrs styron and we also went to the florist and bought some flower seeds and i'm not really sure what to do now um as far as i know we can't cook yet so I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Nothing's really changed except for the random toys around, but I can't really interact with those for some reason. It won't let me. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is just a bathroom, right? I can't even interact with anything in here except the toilet. All right. Yeah, I can interact with that. Anything on the television? Nope. Alright. Yeah, so I'm really not sure what to do now if I'm supposed to, like, go to sleep or what. Because I think that's the only way time progresses in this game. I'm not sure why I can't cook. Like, I can't interact with the fridge. The only thing I can interact with is the stove, and all I can do is turn it on and off. Because I'd really like to, you know, learn how to cook. If I could. I mean one of the doors upstairs is unlocked now. Hmm. Maybe there's something in here. That's just the gardening book. Cause yeah, if I go here, it's like there's a cookbook here. It'd probably mean more to you if you knew how to cook. Like isn't that what a cookbook does? Teach you how to cook? That's still locked. This is Mrs. Styron's room. There's a recipe in there, but again, I can't use it until I know how to cook. So yeah, I think I just need to go to sleep. Which is kind of weird. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. My cat has decided to be a nuisance. Alright. It's locked. It's locked. It's just a bathroom. Yeah. Hold on, nothing. Yeah, everything's locked. I guess I'll just go to bed. So time will progress. Did I check? Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, try to sleep. Cause I'm gonna need to get up in the middle of the night. Ugh! Not again. What? Why can't I move? Uh. What? What that? I said that was my door opening, but I guess it was another door in the house. What was that? Good question. Do we really want to go investigate it? If this was real me, there would be no investigating. I know I heard something. Is it coming from one of the rooms? Oh god, there is no way in hell I would be doing this in real life. Oh, hi! What the? Boo! What? I, who, what? I... Want your soul? What the? <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is a guy or a girl, but I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give this character a little girl voice, even though it could be a guy. I don't know. I'll just give it a little kid voice. Hee <laughs> hee. Just kidding. Did you get scared? 
don't worry, I'm not a ghost. I'm just a normal kid, a totally normal kid who is definitely not a ghost of any kind. Yeah, sure, kid, I, I totally believe you. How'd you get my house? What are you doing here? Who are you? I'm Alex. Oh, it is a girl. It's sure for Alexandria, but that name is dumb. So I just tell everyone to call me Alex. Actually, if you want to call me the Annihilator, that's okay too. I, I think I'll stick with Alex. So Alex, what are you doing here? <laughs> Good question. I'm just playing. Do you know Mrs. Styron, the lady who owns this house? Nope. Why? <laughs> God, kids. <laughs> nope, totally don't. I'm just creeping around her house for no reason. Where are your parents? They must be worried sick about you. Nah, yeah, they know I'm here. Really? Still, I think we should call them. No, they're sleeping. If you call them, they'll wake up. Mom says it's important to get a lot of sleep. You don't say. Well, um, how about you go to sleep for now? In the morning, we can call your parents, okay? Okay, I'll call this room. Good night, Miss Lady. Uh, it's Corin. Good night, Alex. Okay, are you the first of my ghost tenants? I'm going to assume yes. All right. Um, is that the only door? I guess the rooms unlock as I find more ghosty goo friends. That would be my guess. All right, let's go down and have a look at our flowers and maybe go to the graveyard. So yeah, if there's, oh my God, the TV's on again. Ghosty goose need to stop messing with the TV. Oh, are you serious? I can't turn it off? Gosh darn it. Can do anything in here? I would really like to learn how to cook, please. Is there anything different in here? No. No, there is not. Alright, how about in the sitting room? Nope. Oh. All right, well, if there's a kid ghost here, like I said, that may explain why there's so many toys around. Let's go back, we'll check for mail real quick, and then we'll go back and check the graveyard. All right, uh, he sees them in water, they just need some time to grow, okay? So we don't need to do anything with that, but we will go pay our respects to the dead in the cemetery. Blooming flower decorates this grave. Yeah, I need more flowers. Okay, I guess there's not really anything else I can do here. Um, I'm at 100% energy, but I, think, I don't know. I guess I just go back to sleep. That's the thing, like I'm not really sure, like this game seems very like particular. Is it gonna tell me I can't go anywhere? Not yeah, it's too late to go out, out all the stores are closed. Yeah, this game, like, doesn't give me much guidance. It's just kind of like, here you go, you're in a house, go do some things. It's kind of like, okay, but, like, I'm at full of energy and I have nothing to do because it's the middle of the night. So, I should let Alex sleep. Okay. Do we want to go in here? Let's see if there's anything going on. Oh, lot of nothing. All right, I guess I'll just go back to sleep. I just gotta say again, I love the art style in this game. It's so freaking cute. All right, too bad we go, I guess. I guess I should save. It's your laptop. Let's check Instaface. Eric sent you a message. What's up, Cross? Did you hear Gail died from high school? Surprised you weren't at his funeral. Damn, guilt tripping. Write in my journal. Uh, cute. All right. How do I go back? Okay, I guess I'll just go back to sleep. Since there's nothing else for me to do, even though I'm at 100% energy. crazy dream last night or is there a little girl here good question 
Oh my gosh. Yep. She's not in here. Uh, Alex? Where'd you go? She's not here. Awesome. <laughs> Corin, you're awful. Nothing in there. Oh, come on. There's nothing in this room? That's annoying. Alright, how much you want to bet she's downstairs waiting for me? Uh, nothing new in here. Maybe she'll teach me how to cook. That would be nice. Here. All right, let's go downstairs. We should probably go visit Miss Styron again in the hospital. Since we don't really. Oh, hi, Her Hermina or Hermina. Can I, I can't remember what I used to call you. Good morning, Miss Cross. Hey, uh, Hermina. I see you're inside the house now. <laughs> How is looking after the house treating you? Uh, it's been interesting. Last night there was some little girl in the house. I wanted to call her parents, but when I woke up, she was gone. A girl. Hmm. What? What was that? Hmm. You are a very interesting young woman indeed, Miss Cross. What? Why? Why do you keep seeing that? You have an uncommon connection with the dead. It's very rare. Dot, dot, dot. What? <laughs> oh, Cord, I love you so much. Your reactions are priceless. Don't fear the connection. Okay, that was creepy-ish. Oh, TV. Why are you causing me issues? Oh, you will actually turn off now. How nice. Okay, so apparently I can see ghosts. That's always fun. Let's play the piano a bit. Girl, you need to take lessons. <laughs> All right, I need to go check on my flowers. So I guess we'll go do that. Oh, there's mail. There's something in the mail. A letter from mom? Corin, thanks for doing me this favor. I thought I'd send some money to help out. See you soon, love mom. There was 30 bucks attached. Jeez, thanks mom. Very nice. Let's go check our flowers. Oh, they are growing very nicely. All right. It's the water spigot. You can fill up your watering can here. Oh, crap. Can I remember how to open the inventory? S, right. Okay. You filled up the watering can. Yes, yes. I know, cat. It's very exciting. All right. I guess that means I can grow some more plants since mom sent me money. All right, let's go visit Miss Styron and probably pop over to the florists. Where should I go? Let's go to the hospital. I'm sure she'd be happy to see a friendly face. Aww. Yes, I know, Kitty. It's very sad. Hi, Mrs. Styron. I can't remember what voice I gave you. Crap. Oh, Corin, I didn't expect you to come visit me again. Huh? I'm happy to stop by. It can't be fun visiting a sick, depressed old woman. I don't mind. How are you feeling today? Still nauseous and fatigued. I've struggled with this illness for a long time. My health had been improving, but when Gail died, I... I'm so sorry. That must have been very hard on you. It was. When my husband died, I was devastated, but Gail was there for me. He helped see me through those sad times. I was so proud of him. He never let anything take his smile from him, and that kept me smiling too. But now Gail's gone, and I... Da, da, da. I thought my husband's death taught me how to grieve, but nothing could have prepared me for this. Mrs. Styron, I'm sorry, dear. You're kind enough to visit me and I reward you with all kinds of sad stories. That's okay, Mrs. Starin. I think talking about it is good for you. I suppose you're right. You knew Gail, even if only a little. Somehow that thought comforts me a little. Dot, dot, dot. 
I should rest, Corin. I'm terribly tired. All right, I'll see you later, Mrs. Styron. Aww. Okay, so we can go visit her every day, which we'll probably do since we don't really have anything else to spend our energy on. Let's go to the florists and buy some more things. Do, 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 do. I love the music in this game too, it's so cute. Hey there, Carol, was that your name? Can, can I talk to you? There we go. Hey, Corin, how's the gardening going? It's going all right. This is my first time doing anything like this, so I'm still kind of learning the ropes. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. Plants are easy. They just want plant, they just want water and some sun. Oh, and some dirt. And maybe even some conversation. Conversation? Sure, if you're bored, you can talk to your plants. They're good listeners. I heard talking to a plant can help it grow, but I'm not sure if that's just an old wives tale. What do you talk to your plants about? Oh, you know, this and that. Heck, I spend so much time alone in the shop that I'll probably go crazy if I didn't have someone to talk to. Or maybe I already am crazy since I talk to plants. <laughs> maybe. All right, so we have $43. So we shall buy a clay pot, a dirt, <laughs> and some seeds. And that's really all we can afford right now because I don't really want to buy like a, another clay pot or anything because I can't afford to get the dirt and seeds for it so all right all right thanks Carol I think that was your name I really can't remember all right oh. where should I go let's go home All right, let's get this last plant on the go. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention when I started this playthrough is this game is only seven days long. So you've only got a week to kind of get whatever you want done done. Um, so yeah, so we are on a bit of a time limit here. <laughs> Dirt, seeds, and water. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. All right. Okay, I guess that's all I can do right now because again, I don't know how to cook yet. <laughs> Which I thought was a big part of this game, but like, I'm on day two and I still don't know how. Hmm. Anything in here? Nope. Let's go into the kitchen because I don't think I've been in there yet today. Maybe I need to use like the candle. I do have two candles. Doesn't seem right. I don't know what the candles are for. Ugh, this is annoying. Why can't I cook yet? I would like to make things. I guess I'll just go to bed again. really not much to do in this game. Is Alex around? I guess she only shows up at night. Hmm. I think I went everywhere else, right? Interested to see what ghosts we get in the other two rooms. Doesn't seem like anything changed today either. Hmm. All right. Guess we'll save. Check Insta face. Megan updated her status. Can't believe someone from high school passed away. Gail was too young. An important reminder to appreciate every day. Hashtag life, hashtag love, hashtag blessings. Get your laptop, write in journal. Find an entry. And let's go to sleep, I guess. You have the weirdest sleep schedule, Corin. Ah, uh, why can't I stay asleep? What time is it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, Hermina. Hello, Miss Cross. Hi, Hermina. 
Come to the kitchen, Miss Cross. I'm waiting for you. Oh my gosh, are we gonna finally learn how to cook? <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that made me a little more excited than it should have. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, please teach me how to cook, Hermina. Teach me the secrets of the kitchen. Oh, hi, Alex. How's it going? I'll go ahead and talk to Alex first. Hi. Yay! Hi, Corin. Let's play! Alex, there you are. Jeez, you really have me worried. Huh? Why? You disappeared. Well, yeah, ghosts only appear at night, you silly. So, you're a ghost. You said you weren't a ghost, you big fat liar. <laughs> yeah. You can't seriously think I'll believe that. Hey, will you play with me? Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Yay, let's play hide and seek. Okay, I'll hide somewhere in this room and you have to find me in 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. Alex? Hee <laughs> hee, try and find me. Oh my gosh. I have to find her in 20 seconds? Are you serious? Is she under the bed? Found you. Ah, you found me. Hee, <laughs> good job. Alex, how did you do that? I told you I'm a ghost. There's no such thing. What the? <laughs> how? Cool, huh? This is crazy. I like you, Corin. Okay. Let's play some more tomorrow, all right? Okay. So I guess I have to like interact with the ghosts every day to make them like me. That's cool. All right, Hermina, please tell me you're still there. Uh, hi? Are you the guy who keeps leaving the TV on? I got a bone pick, to pick with you, mister. Hi? Hey, or what kind of wish are you? Hey, get out of the way. I can't see the TV. Da 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 Uh, excuse me? Yeah? Mind telling me what you're doing in my house? Watching TV. This isn't your house. Yeah, well, I'm in charge of watching it. If you don't get out right now, I'll call the police. <sighs> what the? <laughs> you're annoying. Da 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 da. What the, what the? Oh, God. Stop leaving the TV on. That's strange. It won't turn off. Yeah, because jerk ghost there is messing with it hi hermina so let's talk about ghosts shall we hermina you're looking a little shaken miss cross there was a strange man in the living room and the little girl was back and if you're gonna be staying here you'll need to learn how to cook <laughs> segue <laughs> there's all this weird shit happening well you should learn how to cook what <laughs> oh, hermina never change what? Hermina, I'm not worried about cooking right now. I am. I want to learn how to cook. Please pay attention. Here, take this. Hermina gives you five pieces of bread and a recipe for toast. A recipe for toast? Corin, you can't seriously expect me to believe that you don't know how to make toast. Is, is it even a recipe for toast? You literally just take bread and put it in the toaster. Like, that's not a recipe. That's a task. <laughs> Okay, you learned how to make toast. You need one piece of bread. I'm gonna teach you how to make toast, the most basic of dishes. Toast, Hermina, I simply approach the oven and choose which recipe to cook. Give it a try. Try cooking in the oven. Choose toast from the recipes. Press enter when the gauge is green. Don't undercook or overcook your dish. Okay, should I cook something? Yes. Toast. You cook toast. Yay. Are we done now? Hey, that doesn't look half bad. Excellent job, Miss Cross. You're capable of toasting bread. I'm so proud. <laughs> toast is the most basic dish. If you keep at it, I'm sure you can learn some more complicated recipes. I'll provide you the address of the green grocer. You can purchase more supplies for cooking there. Now travel to the green grocer using the Bumblebee scooter. Cool, thanks, Armina. 
Eating well is important, and if any of the house's denizens are hungry... You mean that man? I wouldn't know, Miss Krauss. <laughs> Clearly, I have no knowledge of what is happening in this house at all, despite constantly calling you and randomly showing up inside the house. I'll be on my way now. Good night. All right, see you later. Hermina, wait. You'll be fine, Miss Cross. They just need a little guidance before they move on. You can provide that if you wish. Aww. What? <laughs> Not only are you like looking after a house, you also have to help some ghosts move on. Yep, that's a thing. All right. Let's go. Oh, you're back again. Hi. Can I talk to you? Oh, you're back. Uh, yeah. Hey, I saw you in the kitchen. Did you cook something? I'm hungry. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> An impressed face. I smell toast. I could go for some toast right now. Yeah, sure, here you go. Here, I guess you can have this. I gave the man the toast. Good, thanks. So, are you a ghost too? Two? You mean there are others here? Yeah. Oh. This toast could use some butter or some jam. I don't have any. <sighs> Think a bed at breakfast would at least have good toast. Dear God. I'm gonna be hungry tomorrow too. Okay, fine. If I leave you my order, will you bring me some food? Yes. Did you did you leave your order? You didn't you didn't tell me what you wanted. God damn it. Uh are there any ghosts in here? Oh, the piano's playing by itself. Oh, it's not doing it anymore. Yeah, no, the piano is playing by itself. I left too fast. Spooky. All right, let's go check the plants and quickly check the graveyard. And then probably save and call it an episode at this point. I'll probably sell two of those flowers and put the other two on the graves. I feel like that's important. Oh, I don't have to because plants show up. You watered the plant. All right, good. Cool beans. Do I need to water this one? Doesn't need any more water. Okay, so once they bloom, we're done. Is basically what you're telling me? All right, because I do need to sell some plants to hopefully get some money for jam or butter for what's his face. I don't even know his name yet. All right, let's go upstairs. Alex, you really need to stop leaving your toys around. Messy, messy. So I already interacted with Alex, so she's probably not here. Right. Are there any other, are the other doors open, I wonder? Yes, this one is open. Hello. Hmm? What's this? You found a recipe for bacon. Oh, yeah, bacon. Oh, love it. I need bacon. Raw bacon, that is. Best recipe ever. All right. Anything else in here? I guess this is the TV ghost room. All right, let's go check the cookbook, and we'll also grab that recipe from Mrs. Styron's room, too. There's a cookbook here. Hmm, let's see. You learned how to make fried eggs. You'll need two eggs. You learned how to make French toast. You'll need bread and an egg. Neat. Cool. All right, let's go get that other recipe. I think there's 10 recipes you can learn, if I remember correctly. There's a crumpled up recipe. Hmm, let's see. You learned how to make cheese omelet. Mmm, cheese omelet. <laughs> I love breakfast food. I am such a fan. So yeah, this all sounds absolutely delectable to me. Okay, I think that's everything I can do tonight. So let's go and save. Oh my gosh, I am loving this game so much. And it makes me so happy that you guys like it too. Let's check Instaface. Alonzo sent you a message. Corin, did Gail really die? That's so messed up. I feel like us out of towners are so out of the loop. Tell me if you find out more. So sad. All right, so we're gonna save here. 
All right, and I'm actually going to end this episode here. I am so excited that you guys are enjoying this game. I'm loving it. It is very, very cute. I love the art style, the music, the characters are extremely charming, and I can't wait to meet all the ghosts. Like, I'm already loving the two that we've met so far. They're so different, but so awesome. And yes, I was right. We know five out of ten recipes, so we still have five more recipes to find. But yeah, so the plan for next episode will be to go and hopefully some of those flowers will bloom so we can sell them for some money and pick up some things so that we can actually cook some things for our B&B. So yeah, uh, if you guys are enjoying the series, uh, please press the like and subscribe buttons. I really do appreciate all of your support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.